So I know you guys are thinking, wow, HyperX comes out with another mouse. This mouse is actually incredibly exciting. Aside from it being a wireless gaming mouse, it's got so much more. Check this out. You want to see more like this, right? Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the little bell notification icon. That way you know when I come out with videos just like this. Yeah, pretty awesome items, at least I think. So one of them is a mouse, you know, pretty awesome looking mouse. On top of that, it's a wireless mouse. The other one is a charger base. So I'm going to be doing the unboxing and I'm going to talk you through it as I'm doing the unboxing, and then I'm gonna bring you over to the computer to show you guys basics on how these are used. A little bit later on in another video, I'll go into a lot more detail, but for now, just the basics. So come over here real quick. All right guys, so we're gonna start off with the HyperX Pulsefire Dart wireless gaming mouse. All right, so we can see along the front, Pulsefire Dart, wireless gaming mouse in French as well, and then, uh, Cool things here, ingenuity, of course, you guys already knew that, RGB, up to 50 hour battery life. It gets better. And then notice, gaming grade performance with Kai or Key wireless charging. That's pretty cool and I'll get to that in a little bit. And then it also says down here, PC, PS4, Xbox One. I didn't even actually think about that, so I'll test that a little bit later on. You can see over here, the mouse on its side. On the other side, some of the features and specifications. I'll go over that in a little bit. And then HyperX Pulsefire, customizable RGB lighting, all that good stuff, but you already figured that out. So let me go ahead, open it up. All right, put that aside. Okay, so we can see nothing else in here. Okay, all right, so First off, we see down here, download software at, then they give you the website, cool. And we can see the mouse and the USB charger. This is, or the USB adapter, should I say. This is a wireless mouse, as I mentioned before. And it's pretty exciting, I think, and I'll show you why in a little bit. So just opening this up. All right, I am going to place these two aside just for right now okay so HyperX has you covered so here they just talk about their headphones keyboards mice RAM mouse pads all that good stuff all right marketing stuff there more marketing over here congratulations on joining the HyperX family <laughs> thank you all right then they have the HyperX Pulsefire Dart quick start guide I'm gonna go over basically everything it has here and then right over here, just hereby Kingston Technology Company declares that all HyperX wireless headsets and mice are in compliance. Good information, definitely read this. All right, and then coming down here to this little tiny portion of the box, kind of wraps up. So this is something pretty cool. Now, this is not what I'm excited about, but this is pretty cool. So you can plug this into the back of your machine, the top of your machine, wherever. And then you have, it's about six feet long, maybe five feet, kind of an extension with a HyperX logo right on there. Looks like USB 2.0. Okay, this is gives you just a little bit extra length to the wireless capability. So pretty cool. Honestly, you're gonna have to be incredibly far to even need this, but it's cool that it comes with it. Okay, and then now coming over here, we have the USB dongle. I love that word. With the HyperX logo there, you can see with the light. Okay, and nothing else about that. Just this is um, a 2.4 gigahertz RF connection. Okay, just putting this aside for right now. We have the mouse itself. So let me just go ahead and peel this off. That didn't sound sexy. Neither did that. This one should. Not really. All right. 
So, wireless charging, ooh. And I'll get into that in a little bit. That's the awesome part, I think. Okay, so along the bottom, we have the on-off switch, of course. And then over here, where the laser comes out of, this is a pre, or this has a premium Pixar 3389 sensor with up to five customizable DPI settings, up to 16,000 DPI. That's pretty awesome. Now, the defaults that come already set here are 800, 1600, and 3200, but again, you can change those. It has a 450 IPS speed with the 50G acceleration, as you can see here, the back, forward, left, right, this guy right over here. So one, two, three, four, five, and then six right over here, or actually this is six, okay? So this is the DPI selector. We have its own separate left and right mouse buttons. Now they're not integrated into here. You can see they're their own separate buttons, so that's pretty nice. This has an Omron switch up to 50 million clicks. This along the sides here, you can see that. I love this about HyperX mice, the padded leatherette grips. So just to make sure it doesn't come out of your hands. Now this is designed for the palm and claw grips, but for me, honestly, it just, it fits in my hand nicely. You know, they want you to kind of play it like this and I, I don't know, just to me, it feels weird, but that's the way they want you to do that. Although again, it feels nice in my hands right here. I don't have large hands and the uh, left and right clicks over here, they call it the split button design. This does have a 1000 polling rate and per LED RGB lighting through the HyperX Ingenuity software. Now, as I mentioned before, this has a 50 hour battery life. That 50 hours is with the LEDs on. 90 hours with the LEDs off. So 90 hours, that's pretty awesome. You may be thinking 50 hours or 90 hours really isn't a whole lot. And still, I'm gonna get into why that is awesome on this. But anyway, um, we can see down here, you can charge it through USB-C if you wanted to, through right over here on this cable here, you can just disconnect it and plug that USB-C right over here and then this onto the computer. As it is, that's how you'll charge this mouse. So as I mentioned before, you can charge it wired through there, but you can also charge it through key wireless or Kai wireless. Well, if you had one, right? That's where the exciting part comes into play. Now, this does not come bundled with this. This is a separate cost and I'm gonna have the cost, the links and everything down below, my affiliate links, so you guys can check them out on Amazon. So this is the HyperX ChargePlay base. This is key certified for wireless charging. This rapidly charges up to two devices simultaneously. Now, that's the pretty exciting part and I'll get to that in a little bit. So I'm gonna show you the basics on how to use it. So let me just go ahead, open it up real quick. Sorry that I have to use this knife since I moved. I don't know where everything is just yet. Moving this aside. All right, so, oh, and along the top here, we can see the charging device, key wireless charger, charge play base, key enabled devices, HyperX charge play base, same on here. Here they go over some of the features and specifications, which I'll go over right now. Okay, so marketing stuff again, HyperX has you covered as we saw before. HyperX Charge Play Base Quick Start Guide. We don't need this. We're gonna go over everything now and a little bit more a little bit later on. I'm gonna put this aside just for right now. Okay, it brings this cable as well. This cable is gonna go connected to this base pad over here then to the computer. So it goes from USB-C to USB-A. This cable is about, this cable is about five feet long. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put that aside for right now as well. And this, something else came in here. Okay, and that's it. And now they also have the charging adapter here as well. So I just plug this into the wall, plug the cable in here. And now we're gonna plug the cable into the charge pad over here. Okay, and then just plug it in right over here. Obviously, it's not gonna light up or anything because I don't have it plugged in. As I showed you, it has a USB Type-C interface to charge with. Includes the charging adapter, A to C cable, and this weighs itself 135 grams. So let's go ahead, jump on the, on the computer real quick. Let's download Ingenuity and see how this thing works. So first things first, let's plug that guy in. Then we'll plug this guy in. Oh yeah. So of course we can always use the RF adapter to use the mouse wirelessly. Uh-huh. Okay. Or we can always use the USB cable. Either or. Always happens. Right. So then we have the mouse itself. Now, if you are connected through USB, you don't want to use the Bluetooth. You can just connect this right over here and you're good to go. Plug it into your computer. Then you install the Ingenuity software. Now, if you don't want to use that, you just want to use the Bluetooth. Just make sure you have this set to on. All right, and I'm not sure if it has any power right now. Oh yeah, it sure does. All right, so there you see, it's already in an RGB pattern. Okay, so let's go ahead and install Ingenuity. Okay, with the USB adapter connected to the machine, we're gonna go ahead and turn the mouse on. Okay, we can see the LED lights start to change. It's in a rainbow pattern right now. Okay, and then while I was talking, you can see the mouse moving again. The software is not installed, so I'm on hyperxgaming.com, this website here, pulsefire-dart, all that good stuff. And I'm just gonna scroll down and I'm gonna go to the download right over here, download HyperX Ingenuity. And it's gonna get it from the Microsoft Store. Wow, super fast, guys. All that time and I have gigabit. <laughs> anyway, so we'll click launch over here. All right, so now we, I'll go ahead and just minimize all these screens and close the Windows Store out. Okay, so here we can see we have the Ingenuity software installed, connected products, the mouse, I'll just click right over here. Firmware update required, so let's go ahead, update that. So it looks like the, it's updating, I don't know if it's updating the mouse or just the adapter, either which way it's updating something. Okay, firmware updated, you're all set, thanks for helping out. Okay, and firmware, make sure your mouse is plugged in. Ah, there we go. All right, so now at this point, you actually do need to plug in your mouse, which is not a bad thing, very first time. Nice and long cable. Well, at least I know it was updating the adapter before. Now it's updating the mouse. All right. Can't use it right now. Maybe I need to turn it off and then back on there we go okay click close there now showing up as mouse 2 even though that is the only mouse connected 
we're under the cycle effect. We can see here, clicking the two little arrows, we have breathing, cycle, solid. I like breathing. And let's go ahead and replace that. Okay. Okay, light. Buttons here, we can configure what all the buttons do. And I'll go into this in more detail a little bit later on in my next video. But for right now, just going over the basics here. Here we can change the DPI. My favorite DPI is around here. And I'll just click up here. Okay, we can see it also changed the color. So I know I'm on that profile because of the color here. And all right, so that's good there. And then over here we have the battery shows you and you can set the low power warning it came in about in the 60s charged brightness we can change that here polling rate we can go all the way down to 125 250 500 up to 1000 and then here are the presets okay and we can change whatever presets we want here setting okay language game link auto activate presets that have been linked to games or applications. That's pretty cool. I didn't know about that. Okay. And then startup automatically starts ingenuity when you log in. Very important there. Let this app run in its HyperX ingenuity. Yep. Enable. Okay. So now that starts with windows here. We can see the software version connected hardware in case we had more than one and then allows you to connect to the HyperX different social media channels. Okay. So that's about it over here. So pretty cool. And again, I'm going to go into more detail a little bit later on on this. I'm excited to jump over to that keypad. So let's go check that out real quick. I have the keypad on a white sheet of paper. That way it doesn't stick so much to the table there since the table is black as well. Okay. Kind of looks like a little hoverboard over here. So we're just going to go ahead and connect the USB-C connected to the wall right in here. All right. Then we see the little red light over here that came on turned off. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab the mouse, which I have disconnected from the USB-C cable. So now it's only working through the RF adapter. So I'm just going to set this right here. They want you to set this piece right over here on that little circle over there. So now it's charging. So now I'm going to take this off real quick and I'm going to go to the ingenuity software. I'm going to go to battery right over here. And I'm going to put this back over here. We can see this is on, so it's charging and we can see on the screen that it shows charging as well. So that's nice. Now, one of the main reasons I'm super excited about this, not only being the fact that this is my first real gaming wireless mouse, you know, I do have a, a really slow Dell mouse. It's a good mouse, but it's a really slow one I use just for work. The exciting part for me is I get to charge my Google Pixel 3 XL. So if I just drop it right here, maybe I need to move that a little bit. There we go. You can see that it said charging for a little bit. Maybe I need to move it a little bit more. Okay. Then we can see the little light came on over here showing that it's not only charging over here, it's charging here. You can see right up here and let me zoom in so you can see that. See that it is charging. So now I'm just so that you could tell, I'm going to lift it off of the keypad real quick. See now it's not charging. I'll put it back on. And then for a split second, right over here, let me zoom out so I can show you that again. So you're going to see, it says the percentage here, close all this. So I'm going to lift it, just drop it back on. See, shows the percentage that it's at right now when you put it on. So even though I do have the life proof case on here, it is charging my phone. So that's a question and an issue. A lot of people have with the key chargers is, is it going to work with my phone and the case? You don't want to have to take your phone out of the case, but 
Anyway, uh, so that's one of the things that got me really excited when I was presented with the opportunity to review this mouse along with the key charger. So the fact that the mouse charges on the key charger is amazing. But then at the same time, or you know, I can switch it around, I can charge my mouse on the left and my phone on the right. Anyway, this is your friend Iggy again, showing you guys the unboxing and some product usage on the HyperX Pulse Fire Dart wireless gaming mouse and the HyperX Charge Play Base. These don't come together, you can buy them separately and you can check my Amazon affiliated link in the description and the pinned comment below. But I so recommend you guys get both of these because look how awesome that is. I'm using my mouse, I'm at work, I'm using my mouse or I'm gaming, I'm using my mouth my mouse, my phone is charging. I don't need a separate cable. I can put this off to the side and when I'm done gaming, I can put that on there, use my phone or just, you know what? Put my, my phone on speakerphone and talk through it. Sometimes you need to get used to where, there it goes, that charging is, but so awesome. And again, this is right now just the unboxing and basic usage, but I am going to get into a lot more detail with this a little bit later on. Iggy out. See you guys.